Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Bryce here with some uh, pickups from Five Below, uh, Walmart. Uh, two new releases I that my brother uh, bought for me, and we went on vacation. My wife and I and the kids. We went to three Dollar Trees and a Big Lots. Um, I scored pretty good at the Big Lots with some clearance items, and then uh, Dollar Tree. Uh, two of the two of the three Dollar Trees were really stocked, and the other one was like not that great. But I found one title there, so we're gonna go ahead and dive in and see what I got here. <clears throat> So, Five Below doesn't usually carry movies anymore, but uh, we went to our local one, and they had, like, they had, uh, like, five stacks of Blu-rays in their clearance section, uh, mostly repeats of stuff that, uh, that the common titles, but I found three I did not have. <clears throat> have an upgrade here, Blades of Glory. Uh, this did come with the digital... But I don't think it's <clears throat> no, it's, it's it's expired. But you guys are more than welcome to have at it if you if it's actually still valid. So there is your code. <clears throat> then we've got Clash of the Titans, the 2010 remake. There is no digital in here though. See, it's just just the Blu-ray itself. In the eco-friendly case and then we got a Christmas title here that we're gonna watch probably this coming season Prancer Returns all these all these were 250 marked down from five dollars there's the this um, I, I went ahead and painstakingly opened everything this afternoon when we got back from Williamsburg which is towards the bottom of uh, the state uh, that, that I live in which is Virginia about a three hour, three, three and a half hour drive, give or take, depending on traffic. All right. <clears throat> uh, my brother brought me some movies the other day <clears throat> that I wasn't really expecting until last minute. Um, he got the, the Walmart Steelbook version, but he pre-ordered this, I think, the regular version. So we got the Robert England story here, uh, Hollywood Dreams and Nightmares. Um, I've met him before. Pretty cool guy. <clears throat> so, and this is like interviews with him and a bunch of other people from the um, horror community, such as um, Lynn Shea, Tony Todd, Eli Roth, Heather Lingenkamp. His wife Nancy is in here as well. Looking forward to watching this. Alright. Um, then we got... The upgrade of My Best Friend is a Vampire from Vestron. This is number 30 in the collection. I do not have all of them. I do have a few of them in my collection, but I do not have a lot of them. I think I, I, think I have this. I have Earth Girls Are Easy, uh, Little Monsters, and the Dentist collection. I think that's all I have in my collection for the Vestrons. So, uh, down below in the description box will be his uh, his YouTube channel. Check him out if you haven't already. I'm sure you guys have. If you're subscribed to me, you're definitely subscribed to him, more than likely. <clears throat> All right. Uh, we went to a Walmart while we were down there. Um, they didn't have a whole lot going on at that particular Walmart, but they had more movies than mine does. They had, they had their standard $5 bin, which was like barely anything left. They had an end cap of 750 movies, which I got two. And then they had uh, three sides, no, two sides in their aisle, which I thought, which I thought was cool. They haven't, they haven't messed that up yet. But um, I got two that were on the 750 end cap. We've got Medieval. Uh, this one has Michael Caine in it, uh, Ben Foster, Matthew Good, William Mosley. Um, I think Michael Caine is probably in here for all five minutes, probably. He's the last person named on here. And there's only one digital still of him. He's right there. And this is from Paramount. So it's your standard Paramount disc. 
There's no digital for that one. Um, then we got another Bruce Willis movie here with the slope. Wrong place with Ashley Green from Twilight. Oh, and I opened that one as well. The desk. This is from Vertical Entertainment. Okay. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and dive into the Dollar Tree. So, I got two Blu rays, everything else are DVDs. Um, we've got Florence Foster Jenkins, the com combo pack, with the digital code, which is probably not good anymore, but you guys can see, there you go, there's your code if you want it, if it's still valid, I have no idea, but my wife saw this movie, she said it was funny, so we're gonna check that out eventually. And then the other Blu-ray I got, I didn't have in my collection. My my brother already has it. It's Ghost Team 1. Mm. Oh, this does have a digital too. It's probably expired, but once again... There you go, guys. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of categorizing it as I go. Alright, so... Most of these I already put in my database anyway, but... Alright. The rest are all DVDs here from Dollar Tree. Um, this is the one that I, went, that I only had one title that I didn't have in the collection that I had interest in. Uh, called Dating My Mother with Kathy and the Jimmy. Um, you also get Catherine Irby, Patrick Riley, Michael Rosen, James LaGrosse, and Paul Ice. I so know. I'll probably butchered that name. Gravitas Adventures release. And it's an on demand DVD. AKA burned copy, whatever you want to call it. It's not a bootleg by any means, though. Uh, they got a documentary called Feds. Never seen this one at Dollar Tree before I picked it up. Documentary from 2003. From Image Entertainment. You also get the booklet. Uh, I got an animated movie here for the kids. It's Gladiators of Rome. This did, this does have a digital code in it. Oh no, it doesn't. It's weird. That's weird because it had it said Voodoo down here on the packaging one before I took it off. So no digital. Uh, this one was a Big Lots title that got to Dollar Tree. Um, Hope Springs Eternal. Uh, Mia Rose Frampton is in here. If you know who she is. She was a singer. And actress, apparently. Uh, let me see if anybody else in here that I recognize besides her. No, I do not. This is from 2016, though. Here's the disc. Looks pretty interesting. I do like Mia as a singer. Um, I didn't have this in the collection. I thought I did, but I, obviously I didn't. Kiss the Girls with Morgan Freeman and uh, Ashley Judd. Uh, Carrie Elwes is in here too. So is uh, Tony Goldwyn. This is from 1997, so it's an earlier film for Ashley Judd. Although she's known for Double Jeopardy as well, I believe, yeah. Alright, this one I need to change the case. The case is, is damaged, but the other copy they had, it was uh, dislodged. So, or, or what you call a floater. It is uh, Marjorie Prime. I need to change the disc, change the case. You can tell it's cracked up here. See? But I got plenty of extra cases down here. So I'll do that. Um, then we got Payback with the slipcover from Vertical. 
with uh, Matt Levitt. Uh, I don't really know who Matt Levitt is. Uh, I don't recognize anybody else in here though. This is from 2020. And I was able to get the uh, sticker off without without leaving much residue behind, but you can tell there's a little bit of residue residue behind. But it's not sticky. It's not sticky. Sticky. <clears throat> Then we got another former Big Lots title here, Sweet Country with Sam Neill, uh, Hamilton Morris, and Brian Brown. It does have the Rotten Tomatoes on there, but that doesn't really mean anything to me. Sam Neill is listed last, so I doubt he's in here for more than five minutes. We got an Alec Baldwin movie here called Sweet Revenge. Uh, this is from the 90s. I don't remember when. It doesn't say on the back when it when it came out. It says 2004 on here, but I didn't think that's just the DVD release. He looks really young in this photo, so I'm going to say probably the 90s. Uh, we got a BBC uh, series here called Top of the Lake China Girl. Uh, it's got Nicole Kidman in it and Elizabeth Moss. Two disc set. This one, this two. I do enjoy some BBC stuff. Sorry guys, I'm trying to categorize it as I go. Put it, I'll put the rest of these in the database later. Um, and then this last one here used to, was a Walmart title. Um, Jean Reno and Angelica Houston are both in here. It's called Waiting for Anya. Another vertical entertainment release. Just, just your disc. Okay, that's everything that I picked up from Dollar Tree. So, I'm going to... Probably put everything back in the bag here. It's kind of it's kind of enough medical order for now. Yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do after I do this video is put this in a new case. All right, so that's everything from those three dollar trees that we went that we went to. Uh, that were, that I got that were movies. So we got other stuff too for the kids. So. But it wasn't movie related. Oh no no, take that back. We did get another movie, but it's a kitty thing. It's a Nickelodeon Nick Jr. compilation that the kids wanted, so they've already watched it, they enjoyed it. It's called uh Learn Let's Learn Colors. It's got some of their favorite cartoons on it. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and do big lots now. <clears throat> So they had some new stuff, and then they had a lot of clearance items in a different section of the store, which I thought was a little strange. But um, they were doing a deal. It was already marked down half off, and then they marked it down to 25% off from that. I opened everything, so I have no idea how much I paid for them. They're my receipt's upstairs. So um, <clears throat> first, uh, first up is my All-American Blu-ray DVD combo with Aaron Eckhart and uh, Robin Tooney is in here as well. It does have the digital. I think it might still be valid because it doesn't have a expiration date on it. So let me know in the comments if it's still if it was still valid for you guys. I know Dollar Tree was getting this in, but this was like 93 cents, I think, after all the discounts. So, yeah, that's a no-brainer. They had the DVD by itself in there, too, but I was like, nope, nope, I'm going to do the Blu-ray. Um, then the next clearance Blu-ray was Tumble Down with uh, Jason Sudeikis and 
Rebecca Hall. I do like Rebecca Hall and Jason's okay. Uh, Joe Mang Mang Manganilio. Probably butchered that name. He's in here as well. Uh, Blythe Danner is in here. Richard Mauser is in here. It's from 2016. This is the French Canadian version from VVS Media. And then here's the inside, which has the reverse artwork in French. Yeah, tumble down. All right, so everything else is uh, uh, the DVD. Um, so these next, the next five were all were all clearance, and everything after that is all regular priced items. So we got Broken Sword Hero. The Endless. I was going to get this set when it was full price, but I put it back, so I'm glad I did. It's the same thing with this one. First Love. They had the Blu-ray DVD combo pack in the regular section, but it was like $5. This was like a dollar or something, so I said, no, I'll just get this. <clears throat> and then we got Ready Player One. It's like a dollar or something. Then we've got Supreme Champion with uh, Daniel Bernhardt from Bloodsport. The sequels. He wasn't in the original, I don't believe. I don't remember. Um, I don't recognize anybody else in here, though. Okay. And then everything else was regular price. Uh, this was $3.99, I believe. This is an eight-movie eight movie pack from... Shout Factory, it's uh, the 8 movie all action collection. And then here's everything that's on this disc right here. Um, you get Capricorn 1, the Cassandra Crossing, Borderline, with Charles Bronson and, 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 and uh, Ed Harris. Uh, um, Cassandra Crossing has uh, Richard Harris, Sophia Lauren, Michael Sheen, Burt Lancaster, and Ava Gardner in it. Capricorn 1. Uh, Elliot Gould, James Brolin, Sam Watterson, uh, Brenda Vaccaro, O.J. Simpson, Karen Black, Terry Savalas, and Hal Holbrook. Borderline, I told you, has Bronson and Harris in it. Love of Bullets with uh, Bronson and Jill Ireland. The Domino Principle with Gene Hackman. All Quiet on the Western Front with Richard Thomas, Ernest Borgnine, Donald Pleasance, Ian Holm. Patricia Neal, uh, Raise the Titanic with Jason Rob Robards, Richard Jordan, David David Selby, and Ann Archer, and Alec Guinness from, from Star Wars. And then the Eagle Has Landed is a documentary. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's not a documentary. Excuse me. Michael Caine, and Donald Sutherland, and, and Robert Duvall. Well, that's a pretty good cast for all these movies here. Uh, we got a movie from the Asylum. Um, this is uh, 8213 Gacy House. I don't know if this is a movie or a documentary. Looks like it's a documentary. But apparently... <clears throat> Apparently, his house was demolished um, back. Uh, although the house was completely demolished during the ex the ex exhumation of the bodies on May, May 15, 2004, a group of paranormal investigators wired the home that was built in its place with paranormal de dictation, detection and surveillance equipment. The outcome of the Investigation was grisly, terrifying, and disturbing. So, looking forward to this. This is a paranormal, paranormal documentary, if you will. Uh, then we got "I'll See You in My Dreams" with Blythe Danner, Martin Starr, Ree Perlman, Sam Elliott, and Melon Ackerman. This was like three bucks. This is not a digital code, it's just a ad for Blu-ray. 
Uh, then we got Shirley MacLaine and Amanda Seafried, The Last Word. Which is just the disc inside for that one as well. Uh, Made in Italy with Liam Neeson. Once again, just the, just the DVD. And the last one here is, um, it also doesn't have a digital, uh, The Promise with Oscar Isaac, Christian Bale, and Charlotte Lebon. Okay, a few other people in here I don't recognize, though. But that is everything that I have to show off today. Next week, I got Hamilton book order coming that I ordered a little bit ago. Um, I think that's everything. Uh, depending on depending on how much I have to spend before the eighth, I'll do a Kino Lorber order, but we'll see what happens. All right, so that is it for now. So take care, and then I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.